Hi, this is a screencast about uh, new features in uh, Boot Sales and Boot Reload. So, uh, obviously, this is, this is about uh, Boot Build Tool for Closer. So, uh, if you still don't know what Boot is, go, go check that out and come back to this. Uh, video after that. Uh, to demonstrate the features I'll be using my uh, SAPAS example project uh, and uh, the new, new uh, feature I'll be showing is the heads up display support for boot sales and boot reload. And uh, let's start the development process for SAPAS project and uh, this will uh, start a file watcher, compile less or less as, uh, start the reload server, uh, set up closure script REPL and uh, run closure script compile and start an application with a HTTP, HTTP server which will serve the JavaScript and CSS files. And uh, when I reload this, I get a WebSocket, WebSocket connection to reload server from the browser. So what the boot reload does, it provides liver reloading support uh, for boot and boot alias. So when I change uh, the code here, and save the file, uh, it's compiled by, by boot alias and uh, boot reload will, win, will, win ten, will then uh, <laughs> um, send a WebSocket message to client and tell it to reload these files. We can see the WebSocket messages here. With, uh, server sends a reload command to client. And the new feature is, is a heads up display, uh, which is uh, something that uh, Fig wheel for lining and has had for some time already. And the uh, idea for heads up display is, is to provide some feedback about the closure script build uh, on, on the browser so that you don't necessarily need to be looking at, at the console where you are running the closure script compiler. And uh, there are three things the heads up display uh, shows. First is that it will show a notification uh, when the files are reloaded successfully. So you can see here it's uh, uh, it quickly shows this JLS uh, logo logo on bottom left corner when when files are successfully loaded. Mm, and uh, other things it it will show are warnings and exceptions uh, in closure script build. And to test test that we can introduce some warnings here by using um, undefined wars and we get uh, warnings on the console like before and we get the same same warnings here on, on the browser um, yeah and when we fix the warnings the message goes away goes goes away uh, one thing to notice is that if there are any warnings, uh, the code is not reloaded and this is to keep the application state more consistent, especially with uh, React-based uh, applications. If you have warnings in your components, it's possible that the application state goes bad and you have to do full reload. 
so not not reloading mm, the files when they are when there's warning should prevent that. Um, exceptions work quite similarly. If there's exception, we get a message, and uh, the exception we get the exception on, on the console also. Um, one thing uh, that uh, FigWheel is doing also is that uh, it's possible to configure a command to be run when a warning or exception is uh, clicked on the browser. And I have set uh, boot reload to run this uh, vim command which will open a file in certain line and column. Um, so if I introduce some warnings here and I click on this warning on file frontend core salias at line 16 it will run the command and the file will open and uh, the cursor will be on the line where the warning is. Okay, so uh, that's that's pretty much uh, the new, new heads up display feature and uh, These features are available in, in latest boot CLS and boot reload releases. So if you are using boot CLS and then reload, go check this out.